slash terrible physics related Yuri stories. Um, well, I'll share mine then, I guess. Uh, I have a lime tree, and I really, really, really wanted to save said lime tree. And so I built this amazing tarp tent around it. And using all my powers of physics, I put huge buckets of water inside before the water all went out um, to fill that. That way, I had a high specific heat to like release that energy back in the environment. By the way, you shouldn't be listening if you haven't finished the laptop check yet. Do that first. Um, but anyways, buckets of heat. I then had some lamps that I had in there, kind of providing some heat to it. I didn't want to put. Some people were like, oh, put a grill in there. I'm not going to put a grill inside with my lamp. Anyway, I mean, this lime tree's big. So I did all this kind of stuff, had it all wrapped up, and uh, it was doing okay, but then it's been it's become apparent over the last few days, and it's getting back to normal, that it did get damaged, so all the leaves are starting to like droop and get all sad looking and start to turn yellow. So I think he's gonna be fine and live, uh, but the amazing lime harvest that would have been happening usually in June is probably not gonna happen this year. So that's my, Sad story. I applied all my physics. I did my conduction. I did you know the thing for convective uh, to prevent convection. I had all the conduction stuff there. I had wraps, you know, the blanket. I had all these things, uh, and I think it kept it alive, but it, it did not save. It just got cold. It's crazy how cold it got that one day. It was like 12 degrees, 15. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> You can definitely take the turmeric, but with the oat milk that I used, um, it's really creamy and it's like spicy and I feel healthy. And it kind of tastes like chocolate, so A plus. A plus. So basically, sorry I haven't done an intro yet. Today is our first day of school back since we had like the week off from the winter storm. And so I've been chilling. I woke up, had physics, that was chill. It was kind of hard because I was really tired. And then I had dance and we did yoga, which was really relaxing. And then I tried the cacao turmeric blend thing I got from Gold and it tasted like just chai. And then Turns out grandma went to go get vaccinated, so that's really exciting. And then I had a meeting during lunch about our musical for this semester, so that was really exciting. And then I had literature, which was fine, boring, kind of. We did like a 
multiple choice practice problems and then in calc we learned some really easy calc stuff on the calculator and now i'm talking to my friends christine and josh hello Bug -log. <laughs> follow me on instagram at just playing. <laughs> <laughs> i'll put it there it's gonna it's gonna pop you up should... how's everyone's day our first day back yeah, honestly uh, I don't know. I'm working after hours. Everyone on Snapchat was talking about how they want school to be over. Like, Luca was like, senior artist, I hate I'm school. Done with this, um, Toby is done with school, too. Everyone in our senior dance group chat is done with school, so. Because uh, we was talking about it last night, bro. I am so done with this. Like, every teacher that said something to me, I'm like, their voice honestly just irritates my soul. Like, I want this year to be over. I don't care about yeah. senior year at all anymore. Like, just move me on to the next phase, please. Yeah, basically, we're all kind of sick of school. I hope you out in the universe, whoever you are, are doing better than us. If you're a Absolutely. fellow senior, hang in there. Hang I'm in there. Graduate. I'm ready to graduate. Like, if they said graduation was in two hours, I'd be there. Like, I want my yeah. diploma today. I saw a TikTok that said six more periods for you menstruating human beings um, until we move into college. So, oh, period. oh my god, that's what I you said, meant. Periods? I thought you, you meant your cycle. <laughs> I thought you meant a period of time. Like I was like, what? Why is she saying six more periods of time? It, the, it was sixteen like menstrual periods, but. Oh. Cruise. Does anyone have any advice for people who are just online school that are not seniors? I don't know. Um, no, I'm sorry. Um, just no, trying to I, I say, sorry for interrupting. Actually, you can go ahead. I say just get through it. And if you're a junior, take advantage. I'm telling you right now, take advantage. Stay home. Don't go back to school. Stay home. Spend your time, I don't know, doing SAT prep. Honestly, I don't know because some college, most a lot of colleges aren't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, my advice is Common App uh, changed a couple of their prompts, so I'd say go look at those and start brainstorming. Because don't be like me and do your application at the last minute or me and Alexa. But I like <laughs> fine, so just me. <laughs> yeah, if you're not a writer, if you're not a writer and you don't feel confident, or oh, spend time journaling, getting to know yourself. That's really important. Honestly, it is. Okay, you need to so know yourself. I completely, like, my, my timeline for my college apps, I was kind of confused on, like, what was the best timeline. But, yeah, like, spend this time, like, right now to, like, really, like, do your brainstorming for especially your common app. Like, do so much brainstorming, like, you're going to feel like you're not getting anywhere, but like every single minute that you spend with it is going to be worth it. Like, yes, yeah, start early. So like, who would have known? I'm like, like, start early. Like, don't wait to make it. Don't wait for somebody to tell you to make an account. Make one right now. And you can go in there and look at all the college's stuff if they updated it. Or if they like haven't updated it yet, you can still get a feel. Just start early. I'm telling you. And when you start doing college, early action, everything. Early action. So you can get it out the way. Christine did regular decision, but yeah, early action you get to know better. And I'm honestly. dying right now is because everything I did was regular decision, which like I do not regret, but like you know maybe a little. <laughs> but also like, but also like, don't like for me. I think my problem was like I underestimated how long the brainstorming period was mm -hmm. because I did give myself a decent amount of time because I started in the summer, which like a lot of people would say that's late. Is starting in the summer late? No. No, I think it's really early. Uh, summer okay, is so good. Well, I started in the summer, but like I was really, really, first of all, I was really bad at writing and I was also not like, first of all, not confident and like I wasn't really sure what to talk about for myself. So like I brainstormed for like a good like two months. College you know? essay guy. That's what I use. And he has tons of yes, great, yes, like our school, yes. our district showed us that, but like he has amazing resources online for like also like school specific supplements and oh, call you guys? yeah amazing yes. yeah and he, and he tells you like how to be unique etc by the if you and want to hold like, and you he has like youtube live so like i'm pretty maybe boot camps. Be next year. I, I did but, that like, he did it especially mm -hmm. this year because like the pandemic whatever and do that like mm -hmm. you learn how to like be yourself in a paper and, you, and it also like teaches you like this is not like a regular essay like some school essay you can literally write however you want to write mm -hmm. so also, also for that college essay guy, okay, 
let me just let y'all. Okay. We can do a whole video on this. Let comment down below. Yeah, how about we stop this? Yeah, yeah. comment okay. down below if you I want. Have I have one more thing to say. Okay, okay. college ethnic guy. If y'all see his courses, like he has courses that he like offers for people, like personalized courses, where like he goes through every all of the materials that he has. If you don't have money, well, first of all, if you don't have enough money for that or you can't afford it, he does like a, like you can request to have like a fee waiver or like whatever, like he gives you financial aid. But also another good investment is to buy his book. He has a book that has like basically all the information in it. And it's like a much cheaper option with like a lot of different things that you could use and like a lot of his tricks and stuff and like brainstorming exercises. So like buy the book. It's I don't know how much it is, but it's like probably the price of like a normal book you would get at like Barnes and Noble. Buy it, and then like if you want, you can also like pay for his like live classes, which and he does a lot of he has a lot of free stuff. Yeah, I did the free boot camp. I didn't like actually write the essay because I was I was Sorry. not motivated, but I did the brainstorming and that and it helped. But I'm telling you, you guys need a strong sense of self. When you write these essays, you need to know who you are as a person, which can be really hard for people who. Um, okay, let's stop this. We're stopping. We're stopping. We're stopping. Need a minute. Yes, we're making a whole separate video on this, but yeah, we'll take once, this video once to we my all know where we're going to. My channel. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do this on Josh's page. We can do different videos, different um, what's called. We can do part one, part two, one for you. But like different themes. Yes. Like we have different themes that would work. Okay, Y'all can so give info on like art auditions. Yes. Okay. So when we get into college, we'll come back to y'all. Yes. For this college. Stay tuned. Hey vlog, I just finished my design interview for Once on this Island. I didn't film any of it because it was like six minutes long and I was kind of nervous. And we talked with, I talked with the director, Christian Warner, and I showed him my PowerPoint that I had made with like my ideas for like the publicity and the graphic design for the show. And I sell, I sold myself short on the sketch. I was like, before I said like, this is a bad sketch. And at the end he was like, off the record, don't ever sell yourself short. You got this, you know what you're doing. And I was like, I, I, I shouldn't have said that. I forget that you're not supposed to say that for interviews. I'm not used to that, but um, he really liked my work on fame, so that's kind of exciting. And he just wanted to know, like, how could we make it more heartwarming? Gave off that vibe of, like, struggling during COVID. So I kind of, like, gave my thoughts on that. But I think it went well. And I, I really hope I can... I mean, there's no one else that's going for the role. So unless something else happens, I'm excited to work with him. But I don't know if I can just say that just yet, so I don't want to jinx it. <sighs> Look who we're with! I have a meeting for diversify our narrative now you should go check them us out on instagram we're all about our purpose is to bring more diverse and anti-racist texts into our district's curriculum anyway but here's seba hey. wait oh don't. a cubicle i'm drawing a cubic round so Thank you.